Hello everyone, this is Aman and welcome back to our channel Aman Stream USA. So this video is about this girl who had 13 backlogs and she got rejected two times but she got visa in third attempt. So in this video I'm going to discuss what things she did so she got the visa. This video I will be sharing her interview experiences so other people who have backlogs or who are going for masters or bachelors or any program in the USA they can also learn from her mistakes they can also learn from her visa experiences she did three attempts to get her visa approved let's talk about her profile first what was her profile like it was average profile nothing too heavy nothing too fancy so she had a GPA of 5.8 and she had a TOEFL score of 98 GRE score of 321 Backlogs, so this is the main thing that people worry about they think they have backlogs It means they cannot go to USA for studies. This is not true. This is not true at all If you have backlogs, you can still come to USA. You can still study here You can still build your career in USA even if you have backlogs. So do not get demotivated by the backlogs Okay, so she had 13 backlogs and she had no work experience average profile no work experience big gap between her education and between her applying to the university so let's see how person with such a average profile with backlogs can still get admission in usa so for that first step will be to clear your backlogs once you clear your backlogs you can start taking exams like gre or toefl because if your profile is low, then you have to take GRE and TOEFL to balance or raise your profile, to boost your profile. So this is what she did. She took GRE exam and TOEFL exam. And uh, that's how she brought her profile up so the universities can still consider her. This was the first step. If you have backlogs, you have to take GRE and TOEFL exams. You have to take TOEFL if you, if, even if you do not have backlogs, but you have to also take GRE. To boost your profile and i would also recommend writing sop letter and some letter recommendations from your faculty or your staff members and uh, internships work experience also play a huge role to boost your profile if you have any backlogs i also made another video how you can boost your profile if you have backlogs you can go and watch that i can put a link in the description so this so i don't so you can watch that video to know how you can boost your profile to get accepted in the universities in usa so let's talk about her work experience. She had no work. So now let's talk about her interview experiences, how you can learn from it. She gave her first attempt in Mumbai. Why she failed, look at what she says about it. She says that she was nervous when she went first time for her interview and she could not answer her questions and she forgot the answers. So first thing is you do not get nervous. You have to be confident. Practice that. Start practicing the questions and answers. Ask people in your family or your friends to interview you so that nervousness goes away. So those answers for questions come out of you naturally. That's the only way you can get rid of that nervousness. That's how you become confident because when you will be getting those questions asked several times, you will be like very comfortable with those questions. You will get very comfortable with those questions. So do that, okay? Do not be nervous. That's how she lost her chance the first time. She was very nervous. Make sure you do not make that same mistake. You do not be nervous. Do enough practice. Okay, let's talk about her second attempt. Second attempt was in Chennai. Let's see what she says about Chennai experience. This is what she said. In Chennai, she was not ready for some questions. Like, for example, the interview officer asked her this what is this program computer science program and she just blanked out she did not know how to answer that question so what you learn from this interview experience you learn that you have to be ready to answer any kind of question they ask make sure you are ready for that do your preparation know about your program know about your university know about your sponsor know where you are going know the place where you are going get gain more knowledge about it Third attempt, that's when she got visa approved. See, she finally got her visa approved. Let's see what she says about that. So her third visa interview was 
simple questions about her education, about her sponsor, where she is going, why is she going there, why this school, why this university, common questions. And she was very confident this time because she learned her lesson from the first and second time. She was confident, she, she was ready to answer any kind of question and she knocked it out this time. She got the visa approved. You see, she kept trying. She did not give up after first attempt. She did not just sit in the house and be like, oh, I cannot go because I have backlogs. No, you can still go even if you have backlogs. Now she is in San Francisco State University studying here in America. Justify your gap. If you have gap, you have to justify it with work experience, with any other achievements or your internship or your project or anything. You have to justify that gap that you are not just sitting at home and wasting time. This was her interview experience and she also got admits from two more universities Pace University PACE and second university was St. Peter's University so she got total three admits and these three universities are all very reputed universities so you see guys even if she had backlogs 13 backlogs she still got admission from that reputed universities even though her profile was average, but she took GRE exam, SOP, letter of recommendations, and all that helped her to get admission in that reputed university. So guys, learn from it. That's what I would say. And do not get demotivated, even if you have so many backlogs. Like I talk to so many students on, on Instagram every day. Like so many students come on my Instagram and they message me about their backlogs. And the first question they ask is, oh, I have backlogs. Will I be able to go to USA? Of course you will be able to go to USA. Why are you getting demotivated if you have backlogs? There is still hope. You can still go to USA even if you have backlogs. I have seen students with 50 backlogs and they still got admission in university, in university and they still got the visa. And now they are in America studying, building their career. So do not get demotivated if you have backlogs. I will say that again. And if you need any guidance or you have, if you have any question, I will leave my Instagram username on the screen or in, also in the description. You can contact me on Instagram like so many other students do. And I will make sure I help you with it. And make sure you subscribe to the channel if it, help, it was helpful. I will keep posting more experiences like this of other students. So you guys can learn from it and also spread the knowledge to other people or other students who are going to apply to USA for their education in future. So keep spreading the education, the knowledge to other students and make sure you subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments if you have any question and what you think about this video. And also let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see and I will make sure I make that with those kind of videos. So this is it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Tab tak ke liye. Goodbye.